and the feminine Prometheus checks her phone. A sexual assault was reported at the university police today. It occurred at an undisclosed time and an undisclosed location. The male suspect, who we will not name for the protection of his identity, was known to her. As thanks for sharing fire with humans and illuminating the problem at hand, Zeus chained Prometheus to a cliff so she could watch the world burn while an eagle gouged her liver every day. Nothing makes me tremble like the sound of a text message. It sounds so much like the swoop of an eagle's wing. Each alert from my university of another rape lets me know it's another day. The message perched on my phone jumps off with hunched wings to gorge my abdomen, but the worst part is not knowing. The worst part is when I forget to cower. When I'm blow drying my hair or eating my lunch after work, after dinner, after I wake up in the morning and I open my phone like it's Pandora's box, expecting a message from my mom and getting a tragedy. Expecting a sparrow and getting an eagle, my organs haven't even healed from the last timely warning. I want to put my phone on airplane mode so I can at least let my mind fly away. I know that I'm changed here. I know that I'm chained here. I do not have the luxury of forgetting how short my chain is. This state college bubble is not real. I am not safe. I am chained to a cliff. I am bound to a cliff. I am bound to get another text. I am bound to be another text again. Each time a timely warning rings, another angel, freshman angel, loses her wings, and I know somewhere on this campus she can't even get out of bed, much less fly anymore. And I wanted to write a joy poem, but my phone keeps ringing. The knowledge of this makes a forest fire in me, and I guess I'm supposed to feel better because at least now we're not in the dark. What's it like to be a white boy? What's it like to not clutch your car keys in a makeshift claw when you walk home? What's it like to not shake when your phone vibrates? What's it like to hear an eagle cry rape and not feel a hollowness ravaging your liver like you're next? Woo!